Hi there and welcome to this video tutorial of Eriza Studio and in this video we're going to show you how we can use array data to create tables uh, in Eriza Studio using Unreal Engine. Okay, so before we get in I just want to show you the final result that we want to achieve in this video. So here I have Eriza Studio and I have a table at the bottom over here and what I can do is when I hit to take in, let me just put my engine in play mode, when I hit to take in we can see this table appears with the data from Eriza Studio. And what we can do in Eriza Studio with these tables is we can rearrange the rows. And if I take in now, you can see Liverpool has moved to the second position. Okay, so this is what we want to achieve in, uh, in Eriza Studio in this video. And I'm going to show you how simple it is. Okay, so now we've seen the final result and we want to, what we want to achieve in this video, let's jump in and break it down into the different parts. So the main thing that we have here is we have these two blueprints. The first one is the uh, blueprint league table. And as you can see here, this is our backplate to our table. Okay, and what it has, it holds our events. So on this blueprint, we have the control uh, blueprint component. And that basically uh, exposes our variables from our blueprint, but it also gives us these events. So as you can see here at the bottom, when I have the control blueprint component selected, we get the events that we can use. And in this example, I'm using the on layer in. So let's just jump into the event graph. Uh, the on layer in event is when the element is first taken to air and making visible to the viewers at home. Okay. The second uh, event that we're using is on layer changed. This will be triggered when the element is already in air, on air and new data is received. And then finally we have the on layer out. That's when the element is taken uh, off air via Reza Studio and we have to remove the uh, table from our uh, level. Okay. And so if we just quickly jump into the uh, create table function, for example, I don't want to jump too much into the logic here. I'm just going to cover it very briefly. But the main idea is that we receive this array. And that's really going to be the focus of this of this video is the array that we pass into this logic. And then we're running a for each loop. And for each item in the array, we're spawning an actor. And that actor being spawned is our blueprint league table row. And this is a representation of each row in our array or each row in our table. And it has the, um, the, the rank, the logo, the team name, and the points. And we have a very simple uh, function over here that receives the data from our array and sets the values for each of the components in our actor over here. Okay, so very simple stuff. So let's jump back into our main uh, league table blueprint over here. And I'm going to do this step by step so you see the process uh, and understand uh, each step of the process. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is add a new variable. And I'm just going to call this data. And obviously, I have to make it public so that we can see it in Reza Studio. And I'm just going to compile, save, and jump into Reza Studio now. Okay, and just hit a re import. And we see, oh, I have to put our game in play mode, re-import, and you can see I already have this set up. Here we now have our data string, okay? That's very simple stuff, just a refresher or anyone who's watching this video for the first time, okay? So I'm gonna hit stop. Now I wanna turn this into an array, and luckily inside Unreal this is very easy to do. All we need to do is go here in the details panel, we, next to the variable type where it says string, we have this little icon. And if we click on that, it brings up this little drop down menu. And the second uh, item in this drop down menu is array. I'm going to click that, hit compile. And once we've hit compile, this is important, you first have to hit compile after changing it to an array. In the default value uh, section of the details panel, uh, we can add new items to our, to our array. So I'm just going to add five items here. Obviously, it starts at zero, so the index will end at four. Okay, so let's hit compile, save, play. Jump back into Ariza Studio, and let's do a re-import. And you can now see that Ariza Studio has recognized that this variable is an array, and it now displays the string, each string as an, in a table, and each string is a row in our table. Okay, which is great. Now, if we go back to our example of the league table, we have multiple elements inside each row. 
Okay, so in this example, we just have one string, so it's pretty simple. But in our leak table, we have the rank, we have the logo, we have the text, and each one has a, it has a each variable has a different type. So what we need to do in this case is we go back into uh, Unreal and in our content uh, browser over here, I'm going to select Blueprint and we're going to use a structure. Okay, and let's just double click this to open it. Uh, you know what, let's just close this. I want to rename it first. So, st example. I'm going to double click to open it. And uh, basically a structure is an object of variables. Okay, so it's one uh, component or structure that has multiple variables inside it. So for our league table, I'm just going to recreate the data that we need. So the first variable is the rank and this is going to be integer. And that's what's nice about structures is that on each variable we can give it its type, okay? So the next one's gonna be our logo. This is gonna be a texture 2D. Then we have the team name. Let's just call this team. And this is gonna be a string. Then we have stats. It's also going to be a string. And finally, we have points. And this is going to be an integer. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. And now we're going to go back into our blueprint and I'm going to change the, change our data variable here. I'm going to change the variable type to st example. Okay, and this is our structure that we just created. Okay, so let's go ahead and compile this. And now you'll see that each row in our table has the different variables that we created in our structure. Okay, so I can go ahead and save this, play. Let's jump back into Reza Studio and hit re import. And now you can see that our table is formatted correctly for each row of data inside our uh, graphics. So we have the rank, we can select the logo, and Eriza Studio recognizes the type of variable that we have inside our structures and renders the UI correctly. So when it's an integer, we get a number selector. When it's a texture 2D, we, get, uh, we can select uh, images from Media Hub. When it's a string, we can just type some content. Um, and so that makes it very useful and easy to set up and for the operators to control. Okay, so the last thing that we, we now have our user interface. The last thing we need to do is connect this up to the rest of the logic for our table. So I'm going to jump back into Studio and I'm just going to change this to um, a structure that I created earlier. And the only reason that I'm doing this is that my uh, blueprint here is already set up to break this type of variable, okay? Uh, but if we jump into and just show you, it's exactly the same as we just created together, uh, no difference at all, okay? So I've now set this up correctly. I can compile, get our data array of our structure, and this is in our create table, and I just need to do it in our update table function as well just pass our array into the rest of our logic, compile, save, and let's go back into Unreal over here. Let's zoom into the area where our table is so it's visible. I'm gonna hit play, jump back into Ariza Studio, and now let's set up our data. So uh, Chelsea is gonna, let's set this up correctly. Let's have one. This is gonna be Liverpool. I'm just going to leave stats now empty for, for, for now. This is going to be 15. This is going to be 2, 3, 4. Okay, and save this out. Okay, and now when we hit take in, you can see that our data is being populated and we can change this, move Liverpool down, and you can see that our data updates. So thank you for watching this video that shows you by just changing the variable types or defining the variable types inside Unreal, uh, a 
makes a difference inside Ariza Studio and Ariza Studio helps you do the heavy lifting and it formats the user interface correctly so that it's easy for the operator to manage the data. Thanks again for watching.